from you, uh, Nick at Night, was not to me, you know, knowing you guys for years and years and years and years, it wasn't just yeah. a collaborator who made awesome content. That's not how I looked at it at all, you guys, you know? Right. Uh, I looked at it as you guys mm -hmm. were, it felt like kind of soul matey type thing in a, in a, in a, in a like friendship way because you guys were like, Thick as thieves, you always on every trip. You were always together. When I remember a couple times having chats with you without without Nick around back in the day, and uh -huh. I remember being like, "Wow, this is a great like one on one." I never get a one on one with Mo, you know, because you guys were always like had just such a strong friendship, and you were best friends outside of the game, and yep. you you know best man at, at weddings, everything you know. So like deep down, right. has it been difficult for you just to lose? Not just your biggest collaborator, biggest public figure that you're with, uh, but also your best friend. How has that yeah. been for you? Um, I mean, with time, it's gotten easier. You know, the saying is time heals all wounds. Sure. Um, it, I think it's clear that both of us, um, Nick and I, have been wounded from this experience. Um, the last time that Nick talked to me directly was October 1st of... I guess last year, last year um, yeah. so coming up on a year of any communication um, there have been some things that have been uh, said about me publicly but have been since removed so no point in bringing those up or anything um, but it's I mean it's tough yeah it's it's like that 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 person doesn't exist anymore obviously like the the physical human being is still there um now as nicole um but like from what i've seen from the outside and and I, I i've like i'm blocked on twitter and all that kind of stuff so i don't see anything anymore which uh, i think has helped a lot with the thoughts and stuff but you know how, like your iphone will give you um memories, memories. or whatever yeah, yeah yeah um two days ago the memory was of pictures of nick and i and man it, like it was it, it it was tough like looking at all of those and um just being like uh, that like that that relationship is gone that person is gone um in regards to like when i when i say that that person is gone i'm meaning like the interests like it's tough like new games will will come out that i that nick at night would have loved and when i'm playing them i'm like oh and then i immediately am like um oh, I'm not gonna send that. Like Nicole doesn't, doesn't play games. It doesn't seem like yeah, that's yeah, what I yeah. mean when I say that person is gone. Like the interests are gone. The uh, mannerisms, the uh, the sound of the voice, like everything is different. That person doesn't exist anymore. So it's tough. It's it's yeah, it's tough. I mean, it's like losing losing a friend um, in a very very deep sense of not just growing apart or anything like that because there was some hurtful stuff said um that m almost made me feel like was the effort that i put into this relationship for two years during the beginning of covid like is that meaningless um and so there's just a lot of like kind of self-talk toward towards myself that um led me into a very frustrating place of because like i have lots of texts that were slept on like the first one was I believe that the first time that Nicole went to went out publicly um, as um, as Nicole was to TwitchCon, and um, I texted after TwitchCon and and said, "Hey, like, how how was TwitchCon? Like, how was that? Because I know that that was probably tough, and no response, like anything. Um, and so it was tough to be like, I'm trying. I know that we don't see eye to eye on this. I'm trying." And I wasn't met with anything. And so that's when I was just like, okay, like my, my door is always open if you want to talk. Um, but it doesn't seem like now um, that's even close to being the case. And so I'm waiting. And if nothing ever happens, then I'm grateful for uh, the memories and, and hope Nicole all, all the best in in the future. Like I don't, I, I never want to wish ill on anybody, yeah. even if our viewpoints are different or anything like that. Um, but yeah, over the last year or so, it's, it's gotten a lot easier to process through that because there have been many days of just emotional wreckage, me bawling my eyes out and like going on walks and like talking to Rachel and just being like, 
broken. Um, but you get put back together and I, I'm, yeah. I'm in a, I'm in a good spot with it now. So yeah. well, I'm, I'm really glad to hear that you're in a good spot and I'm sorry that you had to go through that. It's been a whirlwind, obviously first and foremost for, for Nicole, but, yeah. uh, for everybody else as well. Like, I don't want to interject myself into the story at all, but I was with her and TwitchCon that first night that, that she went out, you know, that you mentioned. And I felt like at that time I felt personally like very supportive and I wanted the best for her. And then after that, mm -hmm. I felt like, I mean, I, I don't even think she would even argue this, but I think it was like a, quite a bit of a adjustment slash, uh, you know, a lot of outbursts publicly and stuff like that. A lot of people yeah. who uh, he previously or she loved now, like uh, just turning, you know, and, and I think that there's probably a lot of reasons for that, you know, that I'm not qualified to speak on. But at the yeah. same time, it became incredibly difficult, you know, and then like doing adult content uh, only uh, from the account, from the, the Supercell account. You're like, it's just like, what yeah. do you, how do you engage? Like, how do you even engage anymore? And it's, it's tough because I was nowhere near as close with Nick and Knight as you were, obviously. But it was also heartbreaking yeah. in my own way because I initially I just wanted the best and I wanted to support. And, you know, I, it's, it's challenging. Yeah. It's really challenging. I'm not trying to be, you know. It's a challenging topic to even because it's so you feel like you're always so eggshells about it. But you also want to be real, you know, man, it's wild still getting comments and being like, yo, I used to watch you in 2015 in middle school and I'm about mm -hmm. to graduate college or yeah. whatever it is. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and it's 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 nuts to think that that I was able to have an impact on people. And honestly, that's one of the reasons why I haven't deleted any of the videos with with Nick and I'm not going to. Um I don't think that that's fair to all of the people that gained a part of, I don't want to say a part of themselves, but gained something from two friends being goofy as hell and just having fun and like letting people know they can be weird. They can be odd. They can laugh louder than people want them to. They can do all of this kind of stuff.